Good afternoon, sir. I, Ms. Shweta Sharma, on behalf of CP Goenka International School Thane, welcome you all. Here I would like to introduce our headmistress, ma'am, Ms. Shilpa Hiwale. She has joined us for the meeting. Uh, good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, Shweta teacher, and good afternoon, my dear students and all our, and our participant partner school. Park Public School, we welcome you to this session. Thank you so much for partnering with us and I'm looking forward to more information well presented and I hope you all enjoy the session. Thank you teachers and also welcome to the staff members of Park School. Thank you so much. I will give you a brief of the agenda. The world is rich of cultural heritage and monuments is one of them. Monuments are the proof of this varied heritage around the world. It is our duty to pass this heritage to the future generation as well. Some of these monuments are thousands and thousands of years of old. And they need to be protected from various socio-economic and environmental factors. So we have this problem all around the world and when a problem is not of a country, but around the world, then we have a model United Nations where we discuss the problem and get solution for the problem. So I invite delegates representing different monuments and open the forum for discussion. Yes, you may begin. Hello. Hi everybody, I'm Kelly Jishwitiko of Great Kurti. I am from Park Public School, Namakal. I am from the say a few words about Mysore Palace. The Palace of Mysore is also known as Samba Villa Palace. It is the historical palace in the city of Mysore in Karnataka, designed by an English architect, Henry M. The palace dominates the skyline of Mysore. A three-story structure in the indo sanskritic style built between 1897 to 1912. The palace has beautifully designed square towers at the cardinal point covered with doors. The Dalton Hall with its organic ceiling and sculpture pillars and the Kalyana Mandapa, marriage pavilion, and its late style flooring, stained glasses, and top seat are worth nothing. Intricately carved doors and the golden tower elephant seat, painting as well as fabulous. Jewel anchors, ruin, jewel anchors, roller top, display ruin, Dasara are among the palaces as new treasure. The palace has four entrances Bade entrance, Jayavarthana to the east, Jayarava to the north, Balarava to the south, and Varna to the west. Thank you for giving this golden opportunity. That was wonderful. Thank you so much, delegate from Park Public School. Moving on, the delegate from Park Public School. Good afternoon, everyone. I am at Jeevana Nidhi. I am studying fourth standard in Park Public School. I am going to deliver a speech about Lotus Temple. Lotus Temple, house of worship in New Delhi. In the early 21st century, it was one of only nine worships in the world. The Lotus Temple was constructed and opened to the public in December 1986. It, it was designed by Iranian architect Faribar Saba. It subsequently received several awards. The, the Lotus Temple delivers its name from its design. The top of the structure appears open but actually contains a glass and steel roof that admits natural daylight. Thank you. Thank you, Delegate. So now I would like to welcome Tanishka to give a speech about the famous monument of India. Good morning to one another, present here. I am May Tanishka from Great Food. I am here to deliver a speech about Bahadishwara Temple. Bahadishwara Temple, Bahadishwara Koval is a Hindu temple dedicated to Shiva located in Tanjavur in the India state of Tamil Nadu. It is also known as Bahadishwara Koval. 
Delegates from Park Public School to present their motion. Hi everyone, I am Ajitana from Kothi. I am going to tell about Konak Sun Temple. The Konak or Konak Sun Temple is dedicated to the Hindu Sankar Surya and conceived as a stage stone chair trip world, which is the most famous of the few Sun Temple buildings. Yeah. It is located about 35 kilometers northeast of the city of Pune on the coastal in the state of Odisha. First we will see 1250 Viking Narasimha Deva and 1238 to 1264 Jiki of the Eastern Ganga Dynasty. 8th century CE to 15th century CE the temple in its present state was declared by Ayansko Yavar, heritage height in 1984 CE. Although many portions are now in ruins, what remains of the temple complex continues to draw not only tourists but also Hindu Christians. Konak stands as a classic example of Hindu temple architecture, complete with a colossal sculpture and artwork on. Thank you. Thank you, Delegate. Now I would like to welcome Aradhana Brainco to give the tell the speech. Hi everyone, I am Aradhana from Brainco. I am going to tell about famous monument. Kudip Minar, Delhi Kudip Minar at 72.5 meters or 238 feet tall is the tallest tower in India. Built as an Islamic monument in the early 13th century of the Stanton and Lord Bridge in Minar is not in controversy. Some believe the tower was built to celebrate Muslim rule in the country and others plan it was erected to fall devoted to prayer. Surrounding complex houses the first mass to be built in India, Tom, a Matraga and an iron pillar that is mysteriously resistant to corrosion. Being explosive to natural elements for century. Until 1981, it is a to plan 339 staff at the top of Kudim Minar, but the entrance is not closed. Thank you for giving this golden opportunity. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. That was very informative. We will now proceed to delegates from Park Public School. I am J.K. Kritish from grade 4. I am going to tell a speech on monument Golden Temple. Golden Temple is located in the holy city of the St. Samritsar. The Golden Temple is so famous for its full golden dome. Is one of the sacred pilgrim spots for sin. The mandir is built in a 67 feet square of marble and is a two story structure. King Ranjit Singh had the upper half of the building with approximately 
approximately 400 kg of gold leaf. The golden temple is surrounded by famous temples like the Durgiana Temple. The number suits upon one lakh special occasions. The visitor must be cover his or her before entering the temple premises. The Grand Sahib is kept in the temple during the day. A cult or eternal throne is kept in during night. Thank you. Thank you, Delegate. We should move on to Delegate of Park Public School. Hey everybody, my name is Safi from Gatepur. I am going to tell about other than Elora case. Other than Elora case considered to be the wisest examples of ancient back caves are located near Aurangabad, Maharashtra, India. Other than Elora case is complex alone with beautiful sculptures, paintings, and frescoes, include Buddhist monasteries, Hindu and Jain temple. Adanta is 24 in Adanta case is 24 in number and built between 8th century BC and 60th century AD. Whereas the Elora caves are 34 in number. More spread out at 34 in number, days of the period between 6th and 11th century AD. Other than Elora caves as, uh, are designated as the UNESCO World Heritage Sites and quite popular among tra travelers worldwide. Other than caves is located around 99 kilometers north of Aurangabad and mostly Buddhist sites used as a retreat by Buddhist monk. Elora is just 50, 50 km west of Aurangabad and has a better mix of Hindu, Jain, and Buddhist sites. One of the most famous places in the entire Adanta Elora cave is the Kailash Temple, which is also the single more, most massive monolithic structure globally. These rock caves containing carvings are some of the best examples of ancient Indian architecture and sculpture. Thank you. Thank you, Delegate. 